Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and if you've watched any of my videos on using a balanced charger to charge your Bebop battery uh, then you know that I've come up with about three or four different ways uh, to make an adapter to go between the balanced charger and the Bebop battery. Now let me explain for those of you who haven't seen those this battery is the one that came with my Bebop and the charger that comes with the with the uh, Bebop 2 that is the charger that comes with it uh, I thought the charger was probably uh, somewhat of a balanced charger and of course it's not and so I flew and didn't pay a whole lot of attention to uh, how my battery was doing and then I got that flashing red light on the charger and you've probably seen those uh, videos and maybe you've even watched mine so uh, then I decided I better start using a balanced charger which I already had and uh, start uh, figuring out a way to connect the balanced charger to the Bebop battery and so I did that you know I made some videos on that but the one thing I haven't done is made a video on how to use the balanced charger so that's what this video is about and by the way it's, this one is made by Venom but it seems like the guts on the inside of these doesn't matter who you buy it from uh, they all kind of work the same now uh, another thing I would suggest if you're gonna buy a balanced charger get one that costs around fifty dollars because what will happen is you'll get um, you'll get a selection of end connectors and uh, so uh, then you can connect up uh, you know to different different types of uh, batteries and stuff so uh, the the cheaper ones don't come with the big big bag of selection and I don't have my bag over here I forgot to bring it but anyway so uh, what I want to do uh, in this video is to show you how to how I think is the best way to charge your about your uh, your Bebop battery with a balanced charger okay now one of the the last video that I made uh, on how to make an adapter that goes between the balanced charger and the Bebop battery uh, was this one here and uh, the interesting thing is I uh, I've, I learned it from the uh, the it's called the Anquitas channel and uh, there's links to it by the way I've got a link on my website uh, to a lot of things too but we'll get to that so anyway this is the the latest idea that uh, that I got and and so you can order these, you can order these, and you could, you could order this from DigiKey, but uh, they ran out of them once I put up my video. <laughs> so they're back ordered right now until September of 2017. So that's what they say anyway. I don't know how soon they'll get them. But this, is, this fits right into the, uh, to the Bebop battery, and uh, then you hook this up to your balanced charger. <clears throat> that's by far the easiest way to go. I've got other videos that show you how to, you know, make uh, make make adapters out of uh, Play-Doh and and uh, paint sticks and so forth. Whatever works for you, so that you can get your battery uh, balanced. So let's say that. Uh, oh, by the way, this little guy here is by far worth the money. I think they cost about 15 bucks. Uh, for instance, let me show you how this works. I'll plug that in, and then I'll take this and I'll plug it in over here on the end this by the way this is the battery that I ruined uh, using the Bebop uh, charger so uh, cell number one is at 72 percent cell number two is at 72 percent cell number three which is the one that got ruined is at 66 uh, percent it's the one that uh, never gets charged up or doesn't hold a charge too well now here's the thing I can charge all three cells up to 99 percent but uh, cell number three will die really rapidly when I uh, start putting a load on it. So, but this is, this is very handy, if I can just get it unplugged here. This is very handy to test your battery to see uh, what condition it's in. So, let's say you've got a balanced charger and let me go through the, some of the things here. I've got it set up to charge, but let's just go through the main menu. Uh, by the way, this says it's got a USB port and if you had several different kinds of batteries, you can uh, there's software available for this and on free online and uh, you can uh, uh, store the information that you just used and then load it the next time you don't have to go through punching up all the buttons but let's start at the beginning here the main menu will go like this uh, uh, let's go one more here okay see now that's a, a nickel uh, battery 
Uh, that's a nickel cadmium battery. Uh, that's uh, I can't remember what kind of battery that is. <clears throat> uh, it might be a lead battery. Anyway, uh, and then this is the option for saving the data to your computer, and that's the option for loading it back from the computer. And then we get around to the programming, and so that's if we're not going to use the computer. So then we go in here, and there's our LiPo battery. So that's how we select that. Now then, we go over here and we start hitting uh, the start button on the end and we can go through the uh, uh, different, uh, oops, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 that's not right. Uh, we can go through the different, uh, yeah, let me go back here. And let's just go back to this and we'll go LiPo battery and we'll hit start. Okay, so now uh, it's on charge. If I hit this one more, I did it wrong again. Okay, go back here. Go to LiPo battery. If I hit this right here, you'll notice it goes from charge to balance and from balance to fast charge, which I never use because it's hard on your battery. And then storage, if you want to if you want to decrease the charge on your battery uh, so you can store it for a long period of time, you would go with that. This discharges it if it's if you want to just plain discharge it. And then uh, uh, this gets us back to the simple charge. And what I do is I always start with a charge and let it charge up until this thing will beep and tell me when it's through and there'll be a little note there that says uh, it's finished. So uh, I usually put it on charge. Now let me show you how that's going to work. We'll get, uh, get this over here and uh, this, this is coming off the end of this so we'll just move it over here where you can see it easily. And uh, that plugs in like that. Okay, and then this goes into this long cord that comes out of here and now we have our battery connected up and it's ready to charge. So what I do now is I go ahead and I hit start okay and this is a 2700 milliamp battery so now I'm going to have to increase this to 2.7 amps okay. Now I've also got a 3100 milliamp battery and so I could increase it to 31 by pushing that and then start the charge uh, but um, this is a 2.7 so I go ahead and hit that and <clears throat> um, it's 11.1 volts so we're going to go with that now we're ready to begin what I'll do is I'll hold it down it'll check for the battery and and uh, tell me if I've got everything hooked up right and if it's hooked up right then it's going to say do you want to really go ahead and charge it and I'll say yes so first of all hit that hold it down it's doing the check now, do you want me to stop? No, I want to keep going. So now I hit that, okay? While that's going now, it's, it's actually charging my battery. If I hit this button right here, I can see cell number one, cell number two, cell number three. And if I had six cells, these would be down here. So this is partially charged because if it was really discharged, there would be three point something, three point something, and three point something. But, uh, so what I would do normally if I'm, if I'm gonna charge this, uh, then I would go away and go get, get something else done and I would either hear this thing beeping at me or uh, when I came back and it was finished it would say finish up here I can't remember exactly what it says but anyway that little part right there tells me it's done so let's say that it it tells me that it's done so then I go over here and I hit the stop button okay now I'm on charge I've, now I'm back to where I was and supposedly I've got it charged up, but it's not balanced, okay? So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna hit this and go to balance, okay? So then I hit start the same way, okay? And I wanna hold it at 2.7 and I hold this down and it's gonna check the battery and I give op opportunity to stop, but I wanna start, okay? So now it's gonna try to balance the cells and I'm gonna flip on this button so I can see how it's working to balance the cells. The only thing that you're, you're going to learn uh, if you don't have a balanced charger is that going to the balanced charging uh, section takes a lot longer because the computer checks the, checks the level and then charges the ones that are low, checks the level, charges the ones that are low, and just continues doing that until they're all charged up to 99%. So actually it's supposed to be 100%, but you never quite get there. So. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and stop it, okay? What you want to do is you want to start with the charge and get it charged up, 
okay and once you got it once it beeps or it tells you it's finished charging then you would go to balance and put it on charge again and let it charge up uh, to balance them and uh, that will keep your your bebop battery let me just unplug this as we're through this will keep this battery lasting a lot longer and especially uh, avoid getting that flashing red light of course once you start using this you need never see the flashing red light again uh, but you still have to use the wall charger to charge your uh, your sky controller too well at the beginning of this video i promised i would show you the link to uh, on my website to some of the resources that i have for the bebop you can type in uh, www.mrkent.com forward slash bebop or if you just go to my website and come over here to the right hand side and drop down here you'll see bebop drone files click on that and that will take you to the page with the bebop files I've got several things here this is a conversion table if you're making a flight plan and everything is in um, uh, metric and you want to convert it you, you know you you want your your drone to be high enough if you use this conversion table uh, for instance let's see it's, it comes down as a PDF but uh, if you want if you want it to be high enough like for instance if if you want if you got a tree somewhere that's 60 feet high well then over here you want to make sure that you uh, make uh, make your uh, drone set to fly uh, 20 meters above the ground if you want your drone to fly uh, 20 miles per hour over here then you would uh, come over here and you would make sure that it was flying it at uh, 9 meters per second so that's what this uh, file does and then uh, the wiring diagram that I developed for the plug that uh, let's get this a little bit smaller here you can download this the wiring diagram that I developed for the plug that uh, uh, I showed you how to build in the video uh, is right here so you can download this and use that as you wire up your your uh, your adapter and then uh, the next thing down is the how to properly connect uh, the the bebop 2 to the sky controller 2 and that's another PDF file we'll make that a little bit smaller so you can see that so there's just some diagrams here or some helpful things uh, on my website at mrkent.com um, this is where you download verb edit and uh, the new the new verb edit uh, doesn't work too well so you might want to download the older version and so that's that's what I wanted to show you at the I said we'd talk about it later and uh, I never got to it but this wiring diagram is uh, very important um, if you if you can get all the parts to um, put it all together uh, then uh, this is the best way that I know of to charge your uh, bebop battery with um, with uh, a balanced charger and uh, like I said this plug up here uh, that plug right there uh, is now on back order from DigiKey, uh, but all the information is on the the video that uh, shows how to make this, and I'll put a link so you can click on it to go to see that video. So anyway, uh, I wanted to to show you that I've got some stuff on my website that will help you out in uh, working with your Bebop. So now let's get back to the other video. Hope that's been helpful. And uh, you might want to look at this video a couple times to get sure you, be sure you get it all down. But uh, I hope this has been helpful. And I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.